Hello and welcome to this uh, Test Flicks 2023. It is me, your amigo, Leandro, also known as Señor Performo. And today I'm going to talk to you about a very cute, tiny and beautiful topic. We're going to talk about Chihuahua-sized load testing. What? Load? Sized? Little? How is this possible? Well, it is, and you will find a lot about this on this session today. Now, uh, for the ones that do not know me, I am Leandro Melendez, also known as Señor Performo. I am a dev advocate uh, with Grafana K6. I have a blog with the same name, Señor Performo. I am the host of the podcast Perfvite en Español, the Spanish version, and here and there, the host of the English version. Uh, may, you may know I'm a YouTuber. I have uh, presented some content here and there in the YouTube channel. Check, look for it, Señor Performo, ENG for English and ESP for Espanol. As well, uh, I am a presenter, as you can see here. And last, I wrote a book. If you want to take a look, uh, there's a, this QR code where you can check it out. Now, before we get onto the topic, I want to thank you all for be watching this and as well to thank our friends from Testflix to, well, letting me be here with you, sharing the knowledge and sharing all these little puppies, because we are going to talk about puppies. As you may know, in the past, we had pretty big houses where we could have our large puppies in our backyards, in our gardens, in all those beautiful and big spaces that we used to have. But there have been some changes lately. Our houses, what I mean with this, our projects, have become like little apartments with little compartments on all of them that, well, probably we cannot have these large puppies that we used to uh, in the past. These changes now are also not only about an apartment, but a, an apartment building that is constantly being built, changing, and we're living in it. Things are happening inside of it. But again, the spaces are narrow because of all these movements. What do I mean? Well, this, the, the apartment building, the apartment per se, is smaller. And as I said, there's people moving inside of it. And just figure out, picture this, having this giant dog puppy that we used to have like a Saint Bernard. Uh, well, this is complicated, right? It's not easy to have a large pup in a small apartment that is crowded with lots of pieces moving, that we are um, constructing, extending it, adding a new kitchen, removing, putting an old one, and all sorts of things that we could be doing on it or that we are doing on it. So how about a tiny little dog, like a little chihuahua, a little beautiful friend that is here with us, coming to aid us into this uh, presentation. So what do I mean with these big dogs? I call these big dogs the BALT, B-A-L-T, big ass load tests. What I mean, these load tests that are trying to almost bring down the system to test the limits, to push it to um, the most uh, further places that we can. And on the other hand, we have the Chihuahua, the tiny little puppy that we can have in our modern apartments, our agile and continuous moving apartments, that is tiny and just wants a little performance test. You get a performance test, right? So these little... Uh, Chihuahuas are low tests that are small in size, small in duration and in uh, characteristics. What do I mean with this? Now let's get on into some serious talk. The Bolt the, or the Saint Bernards of low testing, the big dogs, were huge low tests. They were heavy, they were disruptive, uh, they were, well, they now, a days, act weirdly in elastic environments. Try to do a load test in an elastic environment that will keep growing. That's not very recommendable. And, well, in most cases, nowadays, a uh, bolt, a uh, big load test, is kind of questionable. Why are we doing it? Because, well, on one hand, the results from a big test won't last long because we're agile. We're constantly moving our apartment and we're releasing new things. Every time that we do, well, the last metrics that we got for this big test are invalid because we added a change. So nothing stays the same. And this brings us to try to 
freeze the environment, freeze the code, and do all sorts of things that are not recommended, not good for our agile apartments. And well, also these big ones need special people, resources, software, special types of licenses, all sorts of dependencies, big dependencies to be able to move on. They are hard to integrate in agile environments and they will, of course, running these big tests, increase our cloud costs. And because of this, we should execute them only when needed, not often. I'm not saying that you shall get rid of all the large puppies that we have, the big low tests, but rarely needed. We need to uh, leverage them only when we need them. So what is the deal with the mini low tests, the Chihuahua low tests that I was mentioning? These are light and lean, very straight to the point uh, automations that will just fetch, gather some results from small loads. We don't need to push the system to the limit. And because of these small sizes, these uh, Chihuahua size load tests are hardly noticeable. We almost don't realize that they are there. What they will be doing is bringing the pulse of the solution, like, hmm, it's doing well, the performance is degrading, it's improving. Um, more, more, more that than trying to kill the patient to break the apartment, to <laughs> give an example. They are very good to be running pump continuously and to be integrated in the pipelines. The results that they receive, they update frequently. They will bring us uh, results continuously live from our application. And it's not like one single big report and thing that we will get. No, they are continuously evolving and moving and giving us information. And as well, because of they are tiny, durable, and easy to handle, they are easy for the whole team to grab on, to collaborate, to create in an agile way, to update in an agile way, and even to execute in an agile way. All this is possible because they're tiny. They have no impact. We can have them on top of us and play with them and be happy. And we can have them always on every environment. This is huge, right? So now... To give you an example of what we observe on this situation with K6, as you can see these graphs in the company that I uh, work for, the number of test runs that are short, tiny, low, very little duration or number of users are most of them short, small. Most of the things that our customers are running are these little bodies. Focus on having a lot of them, similar to what we see in our K6 runs. So. Uh, stop the obsession. Please, 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 please. Smaller is better. Stop thinking when you hear about performance testing, about St. Bernard's, these ones that you oh, hardly can carry on and they are so heavy. Tiny, beautiful, little Chihuahua Lotus. And another recommendation is that you have to keep sniffing with those little puppies and keep those smells. What I mean metrics. They are tiny. You can continuously keep running them out of the pipeline. And they... Uh, separately, we'll keep this polls that I was mentioning earlier and have those metrics for you so that you will know what is going on with the application. Now, you can test a lot of them, but as I said, continuously, but not in the pipeline. If you want to integrate into the pipeline, you don't have to test everything. Just focus on doing small loads, tiny little executions that won't break the pipeline. Don't stop, won't stop them, the pipeline for a long period of time. And we'll test only what is in the release. Please, 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 whatever you do, don't stop the pipeline. And you may be wondering what happens if I truly need to need a bolt? What if I meet Taylor Swift like Ticketmaster did? Well, if you meet her, you already have lots of these little Chihuahua puppies and you can stack them together and generate load with them. You don't have to create something massive from the beginning. And, well, I could extend for hours and hours explaining all of these differences and why should you choose tiny puppies. But, well, I'm running out of time. I gotta go. There's so much more that we can. So take a look at this QR code if you want to learn more about these Chihuahua uh, load testing talks and reach out to me, uh, get in touch. Please feel free, scan the QR code and screen and let me know of your thoughts and comments. With that. I want to thank you very much for attending this uh, quick talk to this Testflix 2023. With that, Leandro Melendez, Señor Performo, thank you very much for coming to this presentation. Leandro, out. Adios.